Now in this video, we are going to have a look at an activity called place value game. Now, the whole idea of this activity is to get students thinking about place value, obviously, but also to be thinking about ascending and descending order of numbers. So let's cut straight to the intro. Now, my name's Tom and I've used this activity a number of times with my classes. And the whole point of the place value game is to get students thinking about place value, obviously, but also to get them thinking about ascending numbers, descending numbers, and also to have them thinking about proportion as to where certain numbers might fit along in terms of a number line. All right, so the way the activity works is for the teacher or me to roll the two dice and they're both 10-sided dice, so from zero to nine. And as you can see here, I rolled an eight and a two. Now that could either be 82 or 28. And what I then need to do is I would then need to choose whereabouts I would like to put either 82 or 28. And you can only use one of them, you can't use both. And you've got to choose which square you'd like to place that in. If you have a look now on my screen, you'll see that the whole aim of this game is to actually be the first person to fill up all of your squares so that you've got them in ascending order. So that is, for example, like what you can see here, where they're all going up as I go from left to right or top to bottom. So let's go through and have a bit of a game. So if I roll again, I've got a four and a two, so that can either be 42 or 24. I'm gonna to choose to make that 24 and I'm gonna place that 24 right here like you can see. I'll roll again. And that's a one and a six, so that can either be 16 or 61. Well, I like the idea of it being 16, and I'll put that here like so. And I'll roll again, a zero and a four, so that could be either 40 or four. So I might actually choose to make that four, and I'll put it down here. I'll do a couple more just so we can get the right idea. You can see a seven and a nine. Well, that's really good, because that could be 97, and that could therefore go in my highest one down here, because I don't think I'm gonna get anything higher than 97. And I'll go a zero and a two. Ah, well I couldn't put the two there now because that's obviously lower than there, but actually I can't put 20 either because there's nothing, in, no spaces in between there either. So that means I would actually have to miss a go. And now the teacher will continue rolling until they go through and you essentially find out who's the first person to fill it all in. So I roll a couple more times, seven and four, that could be 47 or 74. I roll another time, so a six and a one. So that could be 16 or six, uh, or 61, sorry. I could roll a five and a nine, so 59 or 95, and we'll do one more. A seven and zero, could that, so that could be seven or it could be 70. So I wonder if anyone was able to finish it out there. I don't know if I went through and did enough, but that's okay. All right, guys, so if you like this video, make sure you go through and watch the teacher version so you can see how it can be extended with your students. Also, if you did like it, make sure you remember to like, comment, and subscribe to see what's going on with the Mass Pathway community. Thank you very much for tuning in. My name's Tom Moore.